I'm going to talk about Runway ML's Gen 2. This is the second version of their AI video generator where you can generate video just using text prompts. Apart from that, I'm also going to show you two other ways, so make sure to stick around till the end of this video. Now, if this is your first time to my channel, I recommend you to join my AI newsletter and also go to my playlist section and find this playlist called AI Video. Here you can find three other videos that I made about Runway ML, especially the one about Runway ML Gen 1 to see how it looked like in the first generation of this AI video generator. All right, let's get started. Now, the first thing you need is to have a free Runway ML account. Now, with the free Runway ML account, you do get a few minutes of video generation for free. So that's enough for you to try this out to see if this is something worth paying for. But before even trying this out and using your free minutes, I actually recommend you to go to the section called footage packs and explore some of the packages that they have provided for videos generated using Runway ML Gen 2. I actually downloaded a couple of these packs for you to see. So the first one is called Plant Life. So I'm gonna go over a few videos which are approximately four seconds long because that's the default length of video generation that you can produce at this time. So these generations actually look quite good. I think the frame rate looks a bit slow because this is AI generated and it doesn't look real. Like I can tell that this is not taken from a regular camera, but maybe this is more of a slow-mo version. So if you take a real video and reduce the frame rate, this is how the video is gonna look like anyways. The next pack I used is called 1980s Sci-Fi. And here are some of the examples of what these generations look like. As expected, some of these look like sort of lower quality, but I think that's expected because these are supposed to be from the 80s where video quality was not super high. So I think it's doing a pretty accurate job of depicting how video might have looked like in the 1980s. And the last pack I tried out is the one called Oceans. So these are examples of AI video generations of what things might look like underwater or ocean creatures. So we have uh, some kelp and we have a surfer maybe going underwater and taking a video. And these are some fishes. And overall, I'm actually pretty happy with the quality of these videos. I don't know if these can be used commercially, but if you wanna play around and create a mix using these footages, I'm sure you're allowed to do that. But personally, I won't be using any of these footages for anything commercial, but these are really good if you want to see examples of what you can expect. All right, to actually try out Gen 2, what you do is to click on this button right here in the middle. And we have this section in the middle where you can type out a prompt and some examples of videos that you can get inspiration from. For example, this one is called Under the Sea. So if you click on it, the prompt gets populated right here. Some other examples are a uh, wind chime hanging from a tree on a hill. I have this one called a muted triton background with a diamond shape in the center of an image with lots of reflections and elegance. I have this one, which is an aerial drone shot of a tropical beach in the style of cinematic video. So this actually is a good example of how you should structure a prompt. The first section of the prompt is the object you're trying to produce, which here is an aerial drone shot of a tropical beach. After that, it's useful to write these four words in the style of, and this kind of helps the AI tool know that you already know what object you want, but you want it to be in a specific style. And after that, you mention the style you want. For example, here is specified cinematic video, shallow depth of field, subject in focus, and dynamic movement. So why not try out this generation right here? And as you see, I have 77 seconds left for my free version of Runway ML and that should be enough because if you see in the bottom here it says currently gen 2 only creates four seconds of video so when i click generate my video is ready let's see how it looks like so this definitely looks like a tropical beach and also taken from a drone because my height is pretty high here now the first prompt I tried was inspired from this generation right here. How about I try something brand new and say a busy street in New York City. All right, let's see how it looks like. That actually looks pretty realistic. Like I would believe this is New York because I have been to New York and it definitely looks like this. So it also has these yellow taxis which are similar to what they find in New York. I actually like this so I can just go ahead and click download using this button on top. 
Now, how about I change the style a little bit and call it in the style of a comic book. Hmm, interesting. So this still looks like New York City, but I'm not sure if this is a comic book style generation. So I would not call this one a success. So if you look at it closely, almost everything here looks like a real person. I don't know if these look like comic book characters. So if your generation does not look like how you expected, you can actually rate this here. And I'm going to rate this at a two because the image generation is actually pretty good, but it did not match the prompt. So I'm going to send that as a feedback. But you see the general generation quality is much better than Gen 1. And make sure to go and check out my Gen 1 video to see how the quality has improved. But the prompt quality might not be there yet because it did not seem to get me a comic book design of something pretty simple. So this is not even that complicated. All right, now that you know how to generate AI video using text prompts, I'm going to show you two other ways which are pretty cool. The first one is sort of related, but it's not going to be exactly words. So if you go to this website called pickarts.com, you can actually select emojis and present that as your prompt. For example, I'm going to look for a mermaid and I have this one which I can create in this editor. So I can create a bunch of emojis together and then copy that later to Runway ML. So I'm going to say mermaid and I'm going to do maybe ocean. I'm going to add this one. And let me also add this fish right here. So now we have three emojis that I can just go ahead and copy from here and just paste it right there and mention nothing else. And that actually is an actual text prompt that you can use for Runway ML, which is pretty cool. So let's see how the generation comes out for that. All right, I have my video ready to go. Let's play it. So it kind of transitions the video from over the surface of the ocean to underwater. And this somewhat resembles a mermaid. There's some issues with the fins and the hands and the face, so I think two of these emojis did work. Uh, the fish didn't seem to work. There's no fishes here. Let me see if I add another fish and it changes anything. So I'm going to add a bunch of fishes just for fun. And I'm going to click another generate. Very interesting. So the second half of the body looks pretty good because this resembles a mermaid. The front part with the head and the hands keep getting confused. So these are blending into two people and it kind of looks trippy. And that's what you get with AI. But as I'm testing this tool live in front of you, I, I already saw that there's a few things which don't work. As you see, there are no fishes to be seen anywhere, even though I mentioned a fish a bunch of times. But you did get to see that how we can generate actual AI video using emojis. There are some issues that can happen. That might be because of how the tool actually interprets this emoji. Because I also copy pasted it from here. And sometimes characters or spaces get added to emojis when you try to copy paste it. And that might be a reason why something's not working perfectly. But overall, I think I'm still happy with 50% of this generation. So I'm going to rate this at a 3. It's not terrible terrible, but I'm going to say here the issue is more of a render quality. But you did see how we can actually come up with something brand new just using emojis. And that's what I wanted to show really. All right, the last way of generating AI video is using an actual image. So I have this image here in the middle, which I created using Leonardo AI a while ago. Make sure to go to my old videos to see how it was done. And I'm actually going to go ahead and click that image and select that as a part of my prompt. And I'm also going to add Add some words, maybe enchanted, because I want my female alchemist to be in an enchanted forest. And how about add some actions as well? So I'm going to say dancing in an enchanted forest. So I have this image, which is of a female alchemist, and I want her to be dancing in an enchanted forest. And I want to see how this comes out with Gen 2. Okay, so this definitely looks like a character sort of similar to my female alchemist. She is more brunette and I think mine was blonde. So that definitely changed. And I'm not sure if this is considered dancing, but she's kind of gliding in a forest and you see there's some shimmering going around. So there's some kind of magic here for sure. So I think it succeeded on three aspects. 
it did succeed on getting the character in the video from the image prompt because I did not mention anything about any specific character. This could have been a man, a pixie, or an animal, but it did select this female. So that definitely comes from my image and she is sort of gliding. So I'm not gonna say this is a perfect image, but this is actually pretty close to what I was expecting. So I'm gonna rate this at a four and I'm going to say the issue here is the lack of movement versus anything else because I expected there to be more dancing. All right, that's all the ways I have for you to try out Runway ML. So I recommend you to at least create a free account and use up the free seconds that you have to generate some AI video using texts, emojis, or images. And I hope you got some value from this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe to my newsletter and my YouTube channel and click like on this video. I have a lot more videos coming up. Till the next one, thank you so much.